Okay. I'm going to answer what probably sounds like the unnecessary question of how do you make Thousand Island dressing? You probably could just go buy it in the store, but it's kind of a neat thing to know how to make it just for fun. One day you might want it and you don't have it, but you have all the components to make it. Now you're saying to yourself, I have all the components? Think of it like this. This is how I think Thousand Island dressing was invented. Because it's strictly a combination of pickle relish, hamburger hot dog relish, mayonnaise, and ketchup mixed together. Now, I think that the relish company, the mayonnaise company, and the ketchup company were all the same company at one point. And they got together and said, let's make another product out of the products we already have. That's exactly what I think happened, but that's pure folk folklore from my side, but it makes perfect sense. So I'm going to take a, a cup of mayonnaise, and I'm going to put about a quarter cup of ketchup into it, third of a cup. Here's some little bit of flexibility on this. Again, this is not a gourmet thing, but this is a fun thing to know, and then I'm going to show you something neat about how to use it on a plate. Okay? So we'll put some relish in there, and there's your thousand islands right there, you know? And I'm going to mix it together. Needs a little more ketchup, I can tell by the color, because it, it should be a little bit pinker. We all know what this is supposed to look like, because I think we've all had it. And let's face it, Thousand Island dressing is great for like dipping raw vegetables in, no matter what. And so anyway, here's how you make it. Let me just taste it for a second and make sure that it tastes like Thousand Island dressing. It tastes exactly like Thousand Island dressing. Okay, so now we'll try something else. I'm going to add a little bit of cream. This is off the cuff. This has nothing to do with Thousand Island dressing. This is just a little fun thing I'm throwing in at the end of this because basically this is a fairly boring video and I don't make anything, you know? So we're going to add a little bit of cream to it. Mix it up so it's a little bit more like sauce consistency, okay? And then I'm going to take a plate. And I'm going to pour some of it on the plate. I think I got enough there to do what I'm going to do. I hope I can pull this off. Otherwise, I'll have to reshoot the whole video. So at some place or some point on the plate that you're going to be serving this on, you can lay your thousand island. Let's say you can have a bunch of raw vegetables on one side of this plate. Get your ketchup going. Connection there. Okay. Now, just like they do when they serve desserts with creme anglaise and raspberry sauce, well, you make yourself a little pattern of your fresh Thousand Island dressing with the ketchup. Now, that's a fun thing. And I, I, like I said, I had to throw something in to this because I didn't get a chance to make anything. So there you go, Thousand Island dressing. 